Welcome back to Batch Cooking for Beginners YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you and explain to you um, inputs in Batch Cooking. How can you take a user's input and use it in your script in Batch? So that's what we'll be talking about in this video. Um, first thing first, um, the command to take input from users in Bash is read. Who is used to take input from the user? So, and um, I think the best way to explain this is using an example. So, let's quickly create an example. I can just say input dot show, and then I just um, give the compiler and then. Let me write the script. So the script is simply going to like um, take the user's name, the username and password. So as simple as that. Then it's going to display all the three items later on. So so simple. Uh, we just have it like um, echo what? What is your name? You get that then in simple terms i'll pull read this read will serve as a placeholder for the name name simple then on another line we are going to have another echo we should say we should repeat the name like hello then the name what is your username you are going to ask this so or uh, something else that we can do is hello hello so 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 then sorry, this echo is not complete so now we are going to have um let's have another read this read we have um, echo within it this particular read will have echo within it so it's going to be read this is another way to write the read command um, so we are going to have um, uh, we are going to have um, what is your what is your username This will be presented to the user and then we want to save this into a variable just like when we're declaring a variable just like we have um, at the top here now we are going to pass a variable declaration here then we can now say um, we can now repeat like um, echo Um, name um, can I say echo um, just give the name like that then we can ask the password again which is another way to have a clearable and this case we are having the P stands for prompt just prompt for the username this s here means suppress the prompt in another way like um just like when you're typing a password in linux that will not display so because it, we don't want the password to display on the screen when the user is typing it that's why we have that and you can use single quote so then what is your password single quote again and then we can put that within this and then we can just use pass this don't forget is a placeholder for the variable that we are getting this is another way to write a placeholder and this is another way so we have all of this now let's just echo an empty line and then we can say echo 
Now let's use everything that we've gotten aside the password. You can say your name is and username is it's as simple as that so I think there's a typo here yeah your name is and your username is so I can just put this around there and username is Alright, and then let's try this out. Let's first let me save this. Then I'll explain it to you. Um this line here um gives the path to the interpreter, that is the interpreter that will interpret this code that we have written. That's very important. The first thing, and then this first command line simply displays what is your name to the screen. Then it's we have this read command which this is a display command like sprint out this read means take and uh, what are we taking whatever we are taking we are saving it into this variable name because this is a variable name then echo this variable name whatever we took in here we are displaying it out this is how to declare to print out um the content of a variable hello so 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 then we are reading again this is another way to read the same thing as having read and um, username this will not be displayed to the screen this will only serve as a placeholder so read then display this and whatever the user types save it into here echo read again you just get the idea echo the name then push this to the screen what is your password whatever the user type save it in the password then display the username and password let's just um run this and then see how it works first i'm going to make this executable then we are going to run it so what is your name my name is bash <laughs> master all right can you see hello bash master what is your username i just put um bash one two three that's my username it enter then it says bash master what is your password then i'll give the password it enter now you see your name is bash master and your username is bash123 it is so simple and interesting so let's uh see the out let's see the word typing so we see it once more we have echo that displays this then name we type this out then hello this we know you are not going to get any output here just a placeholder uh, that um, stores the name you type in there it says hello which is the name hello bash master then you read again what is your username which is this and this is saved in the username so that's why i've come to the end of the video guys